This is the video for lesson 98 on my website, similar versus congruent. In geometry, very often we deal with figures that are exactly the same, figures that are exactly the same size and exactly the same shape. We call those figures congruent, or some people say congruent, either pronunciation is fine. Let's take a look at an example here. Here I have a blue oval, the mathematical term for that is actually an ellipse, you'll hear that later. So here I have a blue ellipse, and to the right of it I have one that's exactly the same. It's exactly the same size and exactly the same shape. Now this one is a little bit rotated in compared to this, but that's okay, we don't care about rotation. It's still the same size and the same shape. So we say that these two figures are congruent. You'll hear that term again and again, make sure that you memorize it. It means exactly the same size and exactly the same shape. Now in math, we also have a concept of similar. In everyday life, we use the word similar in different ways, and the word is kind of vague. In math, though, similar has a precise definition. In math, we say that two figures are similar if they are the exact same shape, but different sizes. Let's take a look at these squares here. We can obviously see that they're both squares, so they're exactly the same shape, but we can see that they're different sizes. Now again, the rotation doesn't matter. This one is rotated. We don't care about that. All that matters is that they're the same shape, but different sizes. So we say that the two squares are similar to one another. For now, just make sure that you memorize these definitions. You'll hear them a lot. Make sure that you fully understand the concepts. Later on, we'll actually work on mathematical calculations using figures that are congruent and similar. You'll learn more about that in upcoming lessons.